What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I present you guys with some gameplay of the Peacekeeper MK2 in Black Ops 3. This is the newest addition to the weapon DLC in this game, and holy cow, is this weapon a legend. The Peacekeeper is actually the first ever DLC weapon to be added in to the Call of Duty franchise. It took place back in Black Ops 2 with the Revolution map pack, and it uh, it's an absolute monster. Like, it, it's so good. I think it's one of the best weapons here in Black Ops 3. It's truly come back with a vengeance. It's just as good as it was back in Black Ops 2, maybe even a little bit better. So, if you guys don't know, the Peacekeeper is classified as an SMG, but honestly, I think it's more of like an SMG assault rifle hybrid, leaning a little bit more towards the assault rifle side with the way that it performs. So most SMGs in Call of Duty are really tailored to that close range gunfight. As soon as you get out to, you know, close to medium range or even medium to long range, they really drop off, both in terms of the damage that they do as well as their recoil and the ability to control the weapon, all kinds of stuff like that. Like, they just, they, they kind of, they become hard to use. You know, think of the Vesper at long range. Well, the Peacekeeper is not like that. The Peacekeeper is pretty good at close range. It's not quite as good as something like the Vesper or the VMP, but it could compete with them. I mean, it's not awful either, so you'll see a couple of, you know, little gunfights here where I get little three-shot kills. I think the three-shot kill range, if there is one, there might only be a four-shot kill range, but if there is a three, I think it's a super, super short one. But yeah, so it could compete at close range. It's not the best, but it's not the worst, but where it really excels is at that medium to sometimes even long ranges, which is what's so weird for an SMG. Now, it's not because it's a super powerful weapon. You know, you'll see a lot of these gunfights, I'm getting like four or five shot kills. Four shot kills were mostly what I was getting. So it's not the most powerful weapon in the world in terms of damage per bullet, but where it really, really excels is number one, most importantly, it's recoil. It's very, very controllable. The recoil is almost non-existent. It really reminds me of the ACR from like Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3, if you guys played those games. So that's really important because as soon as you get your shot on target, you're gonna be dumping bullets into them. So that's, you know, the recoil is what makes this gun so good and then second of all it's actually got a pretty good rate of fire like the rate of fire is, is very good for taking people down and, and killing people relatively quickly so uh, there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching little sneak peek of the peacekeeper mk2 in black ops 3 best of luck in trying to unlock this thing if you guys haven't unlocked it yet then there is a way that you can play with it in private custom matches without actually having gotten it out of the black market so if you guys are interested in that i'll link it down in the description it teaches you how to do that and thank you guys so much for watching thumbs up for this legend returning and i'll catch you guys later peace out